Hi, this is Bob Pockris, and welcome to another SceneDaily.com roundtable. I've got Kenny Bruce with me today, Jeff Gluck, and Jared Turner. And uh, in this month's issue of NASCAR Illustrated and the num November 27th issue of NASCAR Scene, uh, the big story is who are the 60 greatest drivers ever in NASCAR. So we're not going to tell you who's number one there, but we'll tell you who's number one in each of our minds. Kenny, you go first. Well, I get to go first. You Thanks. get to I go first. That. Well, first of all, it's, it's pretty subjective because there have been great drivers throughout the history of the sport that maybe didn't have the success of some of the guys that did because of the teams they were with or because of the time they came along. But even at that, since I'm the older guy here, <laughs> I'm going to have to reach back. And I think the greatest driver of all time is Richard Petty. I mean, just what they were able to accomplish over that period of time, I think, I don't think you can pick anybody else. Well, I mean, I, I definitely respect that, and certainly he's a great driver, as is Dale Earnhardt, but the driver I'm going to pick is Jeff Gordon, because um, he came along in a much more competitive era. The guy that didn't win any races this year? Well, that's this year. That's this year. He's, he's you know, everybody has their off year, but... He's won more races than Dale Earnhardt, who would be a, a comparable guy that most people compare in the modern era as far as which driver of those is, is the best. Under the point system that Dale Earnhardt won, Gordon would basically have six championships now instead of four. And he's done it in a, in a lot less time. So I think that he's probably the greatest driver ever to come along. Jared, what do you think? Well, Jeff, as usual, I'm going to have to disagree with you. That's shocking. Um, Dale Listen Earnhardt, this. absolutely. Uh, 76 career wins. And seven, Gordon has more. Seven championships. And uh, I, I just thought I would mention, how many championships has Richard Childress Racing won since, uh, since Dale Earnhardt's uh, death? What's your point? Well, obviously, uh, Dale Earnhardt was a pretty outstanding driver to win uh, six championships with a team that uh, has not won any since his, uh, since his departure. Okay, well, I mean, you know, it's, uh, a lot of it has to do with the team, though. I mean, we all know that. Well, sure, but, I mean, what does it say about RCR that none of their other drivers have ever been able to win a championship? Well, it says I their organization's says that, not very good right now. And you, I think you could also say that RCR, you know, even when Dale Earnhardt um, Sr. was there, you know, it, it took – they didn't have success every – great success every year. They had their down years uh, as well. But, um, but Earnhardt made them great. Oh, I see. Right. These guys, I see right. these guys, you all are talking about won championships when they only ran thirty to thirty-five races a year. Richard Petty won when they ran as many as fifty and sixty races a year. Anybody that can do that has to be the greatest driver of all but time. But Kenny, Kenny, not how many people actually cool ran that many races hmm? per year. I mean, he, the mm -hmm. championship wasn't as big of a deal back then when he was winning races. Sure it was. I mean, it was still <laughs> well, a championship. That, it wasn't as big of a deal. It wasn't. That's what, yeah. not what people were going for. No, well, people were not going I, for the yeah, season see, championship. You know, I want to say A.J. Foyt since he actually <laughs> ran NASCAR, and I think he's one of the greatest drivers ever lived. Of but, you, um, you know, maybe um, I maybe go with Junior Johnson. Just because like, of, um, of his place in the sport in the sense of dr driver, owner, we didn't ask um, owner. Yeah. That's We're not what the title of this video is. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it just, you know, and the, I mean, the whole, you know, that the whole storyline behind his life and oh, that how that? It, it created interest and all that kind of stuff. So I, best I story? like, enjoy that. <laughs> Bob, clearly your favorite is one of the three that we've already named and you're just trying to pick against No, them. I'm not. I would never do something like that. Um, you know, because... But if I had to, I'd probably go with Kenny and Richard Petty. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you know, nobody said Jimmy Johnson. Does nobody, Jimmy Johnson no fit in this? No way. Why not? Not, not the yet. best ever. Not he's yet. got the best. He's got the best crew chief ever in Chad Canals. Oh, not so you're not you're not ever. saying that he's good at all? No. He's a good driver. He's not one of the best ever. No way. Absolutely. I, I think not. I think I think Jimmy that. Johnson is one of the best in communicating to his crew chief what he needs and how to get better Boy, during a race. You guys and, are. Um, and, it, and, de and it depends on whether you consider that an, a driver ability. Part of it. Is that part of driver Certainly ability of or not? Certainly part of it. I mean, Kyle Busch is great at that, too, and he's a great driver. I mean, it's just Jimmy Johnson's won three straight championships in the most competitive era there's ever been. But, no, he can't. It's, it's all his crew chief, right? Yeah, Nobody mentioned right. Kale Yarbrough. He won three straight championships. What about Kale? Yeah. I mean, you have to look at Kale. You have to look at guys like David Pearson, who a lot of people consider the greatest driver. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he not only did it with one team, I mean, he was successful with a couple of teams. You know, I mean, right. Well, 
it all, a lot of it, I guess, it kind of depends on what your criteria is yeah. for the best driver and whether it's talent or what the, whether they just get the most out of their car or the situation on the given day. But um, we hope that you pick up a copy on the newsstands and see who we've picked as the 60 greatest drivers in NASCAR. And hope you join us again next week on another SceneDaily.com roundtable.